Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan and I am the man in the wild. And in today's episode, we are going to build some crab pots and test them. Stay tuned for that. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Today, I'm going to build some collapsible crab pots and test them in this river, hoping to catch some blue crabs, locally known as cigot or sea crabs. To make the collapsible crab pot, I'm using quarter inch mild steel bars and welded them into rings as you see here. I will be making different sizes of crab pots ranging from one foot to two feet. The upper ring is larger than the lower ring. I attach a fishing net mesh on the lower ring. This will be the bottom of the collapsible pot. The mesh on the lower ring is very taut, much like that of a tennis racket. Mesh is also attached to the upper ring, but in this case, it's left hanging like that of a basketball ring. The lower ring will be attached to this open end at the bottom. Once the lower ring is attached, the pot is complete. Add rope and it's ready to be used. When the pot is set, it collapses as you see here, allowing the crabs to roam in and out freely. The crab is only caught if it is inside of the pot when you lift the pot to the surface. This design of the collapsible crab pot allows the crab to leave the pot and not be trapped in it. If the pot is ever lost, no crabs will be trapped. Now it's time to bait and set the pot. I'm using chicken's feet as bait today. Here I will demonstrate how we attach the bait to the bottom of the pot. I'm using a piece of fishing line to attach the chicken foot to the base of the crab pot. I need to prevent the crab from removing the bait, so I will attach it at two separate points on the bottom of the crab pot. The bait is in place and now it's time to set our crab pot. When the crab pot hits the riverbed, it will collapse flat. The red cork attached to the rope keeps the rope floating above the crab pot. The bottle at the other end of the rope stays on top of the water. This makes it easy so I can relocate the pot when it's time to pick it up. The first pot has been set. I will be setting six pot all together today. I will now bait the remaining five pots. Let's set some pots.
The six pot has been set and it's been about 15 minutes. Let's start checking some pots. We will start with the first pot that I had set. I only keep the matured male crabs. I do not keep the juvenile crabs and I do not keep female crabs. I hope we caught something. Oh, what a beautiful red cigarette crab. Let's check to see if this is a male. Oh yes, it's a male. You can tell from the slender reproductive organ under its carapace. Now I have to try and get them out of the pot and into my storage container while holding this camera. Let's hope he doesn't get his claws onto me. Success! The first crab is in the container. Let's check another pot. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Oh, what a beautiful blue seeded crab. Another one for the container. Let's check the third part. What do we have here? A beautiful little puffer fish, or as we call them in Trinidad, chuff chuff. And the juvenile cigarette crab. We will let them go. Let's check another pot. It's a medium sized blue cigarette crab. This could probably be a female. Let's check and see. Yes, it is a female. You can tell from this broader patch at the bottom of its carapace. I will set her free. I do not keep small or female crabs. I will change the location of this crab pot so I will not catch this female again. The crab pot has been reset. It's time to check another pot. Oh yes, another lovely blue cigar crab. Let's get him into the container. These male crabs are really aggressive. You do not want to put your hands in there. Check in another pot.
Oh, am I seeing right? Am I seeing double? It's rare to catch two crabs in these pots as the larger male usually runs off the smaller male. But these are two equally sized males. Two very beautiful red cigarette crab. Let's see if they are both males. One, two. Yes, they are both males. What an excellent catch. Two in one go. Now let's see how we can get this two into our container. Oh my, this is dangerous. Although they pretend to be dead, they can get very aggressive. This is going to be a challenge. Trying to do this while holding a camera is not easy. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. That's one. Now let's try and get the other one inside. Okay, that worked. So far, our crab pot experiment is working excellent. Take a look at what we have so far. That's five. Let's see if we can get one more. It's just a baby. We let it go. Let's see what this pot has. It's another baby. And this pot? Another baby. I just need one more. This could be the one. Yes, it's a beautiful blue. This is the one I've been waiting for. Let's get him in with the rest. Oh my, this is chaos. He's getting out. Just imagine having a fight on a kayak with a couple of these guys. My final catch. Six in total. Three red and three blue. All meals. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.